Now in this example, I want to show you a technique for creating what I'll call functional cross-sections. Not, not to be confused with the dynamic section view that you can create in a SOLIDWORKS part or a section view that you can create in a drawing. The, the idea behind a functional cross-section is to physically create a cut feature that sections away a portion of the model for visual purposes. In this case, let's try sectioning away one quarter of this model. Now since we don't really want to harm the actual production model, the best thing to do first is to create a new configuration. So from my Configuration Manager tab, I will right-click, add a configuration, and I'll name this configuration Section. Now, any new features that I add to the model will only appear in this, section, in this section configuration. They will be suppressed in the other configurations. Now, back to my SOLIDWORKS Feature Manager tree, it looks like a reasonable place to sketch my section, uh, section sketch would be on the front plane. So I'll insert a new sketch, orient normal to that sketch, and let's just draw a large rectangle that encompasses the full dimensions of the model. Now if the model geometry could change significantly in terms of its length or OD, you might want to dimension this so that the, the size of your section cut is always larger than the part. Here I'm just going to eyeball it and leave it uh, sufficiently larger than the geometry. Now from the features toolbar I'll choose an extruded cut with a through all end condition and I'll change the direction of extrusion so that it's coming out towards me. Now I've made my physical cut feature, it might be nice to apply a different color or appearance to the cut faces. So I can right click on my face, choose the appearance command, and then apply a new color to the selected faces. And I can select both of those cut faces at the same time, and I'll pick a nice red color. And so now you can see I have a cut feature added to my model, cut extrude 1. I'm going to slow click on that and rename that to section cut. Now just to demonstrate the importance of the configurations, let's cycle back to the Configuration Manager tab and switch to the default configuration. And you'll observe that the Section Cut feature has automatically been suppressed. So that Section Cut feature only appears in the configuration called Section. We can now use that to our advantage when we create a drawing. So let's use the, the Make Drawing from Part command to create a new drawing from this part. Pick your desired template, and now using the view palette, I'll just drag in one of my standard views. Here I'll drop in a right view, and then I'll use the section view command to create a section running right through the model and peel that out to the right. Let's add one more model view, this time for an isometric, and I'll put this up in the corner. For this isometric view, first thing is let's display that in a shaded mode. But now, in order to show this in the sectioned, or my what I call my functional section view, all we need to do is right-click on the drawing, go to uh, right-click on the drawing view, go to properties, and in the drawing view properties dialog, you'll see a, a area where we can specify which configuration of this part to show in this view. I will select my sectioned configuration and hit OK. Now I have a functional section view in the isometric state showing the sectioned configuration. Meanwhile, my model views in the rest of the drawing are showing the default configuration in its full geometry state. So that's a great way that you can use a simple cut feature and configurations to create functional sectioned models of your parts and assemblies.